But before I do that, I want to talk about another recipe very quickly. Okay, the cauliflower is looking amazing. So now Dev's going to try his luck with Brussels sprouts, which might be the bigger challenge, I would say. So here's what you need to get started. Brussels sprouts, vegetable oil, salt, pepper, and some skewers. Here we have our Brussels sprouts. Now you may notice and you may say, hey, those Brussels sprouts, they don't necessarily look like they're raw. Because if you follow my recipe with Brussels sprouts, for this, we're gonna skewer them and we're gonna roast them whole. We're gonna make a beautiful vinaigrette for them. But what I do is I cook them in boiling water for just two to three minutes to take a little bit of the rawness out of them. This way, they don't sit on the barbecue for so long and then they don't get dried out. My skewers have been soaked for about 30 to 40 minutes just so they don't burn. We're going to build out our orange miso ginger vinaigrette for our Brussels sprouts. The tandoori cauliflower is ready, the Brussels sprouts are ready. My barbecue is off and they're just chilling. The reveal is coming shortly, okay? So what we're going to do is get some ingredients into the bowl. I have a ginger garlic paste. The recipe will say, you know, how much ginger and how much garlic you need to add in. So you can follow that. It's a little bit much, okay? I have to speak to people in close proximity today, so we're not gonna go too, too crazy. Let's go ahead and add in some honey. The honey is really loose because we've been outside. It's a nice summery day. Sesame oil, big flavors, South Asian, sorry, Southeast Asian ingredients. We have some miso, fermented soy. That's gonna go in there. That's gonna give the funkiness, those nuances, that je ne sais quoi. That's what miso is gonna do for you. We're gonna add in some oil. We're gonna add in some rice wine vinegar. Lots of ingredients. I say it all the time, you season everything. Good amount of salt. Let's get some black pepper in there as well. Good amount of black pepper. We want flavor. Before you juice anything, always ask yourself, do I need the zest from it? In this case, I do. We were doing an orange vinaigrette of sorts, an orange dressing. So of course, I wanna fortify this with zest, especially orange zest is very pronounced. It's very distinct. It's very present when you're cooking. Let's also get some orange juice in there. I think we want about a quarter cup if my memory serves us right. So a nice side piece. I have my acid, I have my big flavors, and we're just gonna whisk this together with the miso that's in there. That's gonna really thicken things up. What I wanna do is I want to plate up our Brussels sprouts with our orange miso and ginger vinaigrette, okay? So always work neat and clean at home. Let's wipe down our board. Let us get another beautiful platter. See the char that we got? And we get that quickly. We don't have to keep it on the barbecue for terribly long. I wanna get my color and get out because we boiled it first and we shocked it. Boiled, blanched and shocked in ice water. So once I got my color, look how beautiful these look. And I'm not sitting there like fumbling around and Brussels sprouts are rolling up and down the racks. It's on the skewer, very easy. So I'm gonna just press, just place one up on an angle, two across and one up on an angle. We always wanna get, this means height, okay? We always wanna get height. So let's get a spoon, a clean spoon, and I'm gonna drizzle this dressing right over the top. These are gonna be the tastiest Brussels sprouts you've ever eaten. If there's someone in your family who doesn't like Brussels sprouts, hint, hint, someone in your family doesn't like them, this is a <laughs> surefire way to get them interested. These are two exceptional dishes. I love cooking vegetarian food, and I hope you can tell by my excitement, I'm happy with how this turned out.